We got to talk about Asar Thompson, Lance. Yeah, so Cade Cunningham, Alec Burks, and Isaiah Stewart have all praised Asar Thompson, which should come to no surprise to anybody that's been watching this team. Like, if you're a sicko like Anthony says, he calls us the sickos. If you love to watch summer league and preseason and a 17-win season and get on a podcast and talk about him, you really are a sicko. I don't want to. I don't want to see him start in the second unit. I've made that pretty clear since summer league. I want him to start day one. He got the start tonight. He had the big fourth quarter three that tied the game and sent it into overtime. He finished with a double double. I tweeted out that dude is all over the boards and like at the rim every time a shot goes up on the offensive end. He's probably going to lead this team in offensive rebounds. He is just incredible i want to see him flourish next to Cade cunningham and Jaden ivy even though Jaden ivy came off the bench tonight i and i'm just going to reiterate like i've said again on the podcast in the past i think starting him allows him to focus on defense allows him to focus on rebounding allows him to focus on being that connector and being a secondary ball handler playmaker next to Cade cunningham and it takes pressure off him of being the guy off the bench i'd rather have him see just ease into a role as a scorer and as a shooter. And I think that's what you're going to get from him as a day starter. But I'm giving him praise, just like all of his teammates. What are your thoughts, Anthony? So, obviously, we know who he is. Obviously, like, him being drafted fifth overall. And then watching Summer League and falling in love with him as a, a basketball player. Um, I think me and you literally had, like, five topics after Summer League just about, like, how great he was. Yeah. Um, but then, like, you kind of go into this, like, this depression as a basketball fan because you don't get any basketball until media day happens, and then you get all excited again. And that's how I felt listening to Kate Cunningham, Alec Burks, and Isaiah Stewart talk about Asar Thompson. Even Joe Harris, to an extent, was really praising him as a player. Um, I love it that th this team is, you know, praising a guy that was taken fifth overall because, you know, sometimes we, we hear some stuff like, yeah, he's going to have a great career. He's going to be good. He's going to be a good player. But, like, the way that they were talking about him, they're like, yeah, it's like he's so advanced. Like, defensively, like, uh, he can fight over a screen and get there without following. Like, everything that they were saying about him, like, Cade's like, yeah, his passing doesn't get talked about enough. Like, why aren't we talking about him as a playmaker? He's a, he's a phenomenal playmaker. Like, stuff like that, as a fan, just makes me feel confident in the draft choice. Because I know there were some people, you know, us included, we weren't really sure if he was, you know, the right pick at five. I mean, there was a lot of debates among Pistons fans of, you know, who we should pick with the fifth overall pick. But I think, you know... Looking back on it, Troy Weaver made the right draft choice. And even today, man, that kid was everywhere. He stuffed the stat sheet. You know, he, he tied the game in overtime, you know, hit a big-time three-pointer. Who, who says that kid's not, you know, doesn't have that clutch gene? He's willing to take that three-point shot to tie the game. So I love hearing comments like that from his teammates. And it, just, it has me excited for the future. Dude, and just the preseason game tonight, him – playing defense on Devin Booker. Devin Booker's going to cook no matter what. But when you can make things difficult and get in his head just a little bit, which I think Asar Thompson did, you've you've won the battle, in my opinion. Again, you're never going to stop a Devin Booker. You're never going to stop a Kevin Durant. They're some of the best scorers in the NBA. But if you can make things difficult and force them into some tough shots, you are winning that battle. And Asar, for a rookie – Man, he showed up, and his defense is just so clean, too. I don't know how he does it. He makes it look so effortless when he's on that end, like moving the feet, keeping the hands, not fouling anybody. Like, he's just so good. I'm so happy he's a Detroit Piston, and he's going to be so great for this team, man. He's going to be a day one starter, man, no doubt in my mind. And he might make some of these other young Pistons expendable where – when the Pistons are ready to compete, you might see some of our favorites be traded away just because Asar Thompson has shown up. You know, I mean, it was only 12 yeah. points, but the way he was getting it, the way he was moving without the ball, the guy has so much energy, he doesn't stop. He just keeps going. And, man, you love to see that in a basketball player because some guys, once they don't have the ball, they, they disappear on the floor. Not Asar Thompson. He 
man, the, the, you I could just keep talking and talking and talking about him and just praising him for what he did. And it's only one preseason game. He he might play like trash preseason game number two. Man, we might just walk this back a little bit. But for right now, man, there's you can only say good things about him. Yeah, someone had mentioned it. they had a comment. John Buck, shout out to him, said he's our Draymond with a smaller physique but athletic. I absolutely love that comment because when I think about Draymond Green, I think of a glue guy and I think of a guy that does all the little things that doesn't show up in the box score. And that's exactly what Asar Thompson did today. Even though he did stuff the stat sheet, if you do look at the box score for Asar Thompson, um, he had a phenomenal game. But it, it's just the little stuff that he does. Like you were saying, the cuts. It crashing the glass, like <laughs> he was crashing the glass so hard, it, it looked like he almost had a, a poster on Wana Newby. Like, I, I love the fact that he's crashing the glass with the bigs out there. This tells me that he, that he wants that rebound. And uh, I, I'm just excited for the future, man. Excited for him. And I know a lot of Pistons fans are really excited for him to, you know, start. I think he's going to contribute day one uh, with Monty's comments this week during uh, training camp. I think Monty's really excited to use him in a similar fashion as he did with Mikel Bridges in Phoenix. And that really excites me because you look at Mikel Bridges right now in Brooklyn. Uh, the guy is fully unleashed because he, you know, he has to be that number one option. But I think Asar has all the tools uh, to be a, a two-way player. I've told you that. I believe in the jump shot. I believe in the hype with him. I, I think he's going to be that wing that the Pistons have just desperately needed for the last 10 years. Uh, but I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit because uh, I'm getting a little bit too excited. But future's bright for sure for the Detroit Pistons. Oh, for sure. He's going to be incredible. One final comment on him. When he's in transition defensively, I love that his head is like on a swivel and his hands are always up. Like I think he batted one he probably batted a few more down but i noticed one in particular where it was in the first half where he's coming back and it would have been an easy two points for the phoenix suns but he he was like burned backwards head was looking back my eyes were looking back and then he threw his hands up and batted the ball out of bounds that's just he's so active everywhere he he really is going to be phenomenal man i i just cannot wait to see his growth throughout the rest of this season man it's it's going to be awesome Thank <music> you.